dealer sent me to do a to try out and do a review. They sent me their set of carbide lathe tools. Nice case. Ooh, awesome. Nicely crafted wood handle with rubber grip. You can tell this is built well. This this isn't a chintzy tool. They're small, they're great for mini lathes, they're not overly large. Um, they're great for the kind of small projects I'm making this Christmas. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to chuck up this piece of poplar in there and I'm going to make a top for my nephew. Um, he saw one I made earlier, liked it. So we're going to go ahead and make this. So this one's going to be for you, Taylor. I'm also going to make your magnet, don't worry about it. So. Uh, let's get started. We're going to chuck this up and give these toys, or these new tools, a try making some toys this Christmas. So I chucked this up in my chuck. Uh, adjusted. You always want to spin it, make sure. So I'm new to turning, um, but I'm really enjoying it. So keep in mind, I'm new to this. Not everything I'm doing here is gospel. Heck, most of it might be wrong. Um, but keep that in mind. Look for more experts if you're looking for tips and tricks. This is for me just to test out these tools to really see how well they work uh, for me. Um, so I'm going to try starting off with the square carbide cutting tool. These are really uh, built quite nice. I like they're flat but I can yet still roll them on the side. Not bad, let's get started. About 500 RPMs. Press the tool, bring in the bevel. Wow. It's amazing how nice they cut. Now granted, wow, they're good cuts too. Now granted, uh, it's poplar, but it's like putting a hot knife through butter. It's nice. It's nice because it cuts on the side too. Not too bad. I like it. My tool rest is going to come down slightly. About 900. Back to the square tool. Well, I bumped myself in the head. Oh, my chuck came completely loose. I'm noticing this chuck comes loose a lot.
Well, there it is. Not too bad. Rough. I mean, it's poplar. Um, it did a pretty good job. Um, I'll go ahead and sand this up. And we're sanding up to 600. Um, this is a mixture of paste wax and mineral oil. It cuts down on the sanding dust. Um, Carl Jacobson, uh, the woodshop.tv, he's a, um, a wood turner. Uh, he's got videos on YouTube, check them out, they're, they're excellent. Um, this is kind of his mixture, and I like it. It finishes. It gives a satin. Sometimes I like gloss, but the reason I like it, there's no sanding dust. It it actually builds up in with the wax. There's no dust flying off of this thing. I'll just buff it off. Now, bring back in my tool rest. I'm going to part it off with my diamond tool. Alright, and I'll just sand that up. There we go. Let's go ahead. I'll chuck up something harder and we'll see how it does in a little harder wood. This is a much harder wood. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's harder than the poplar. Uh, I got it in a pen blank assortment. About 2,000 and I'll go ahead and rough these out. Uh, a little high on my tool rest. Not too bad. I'm sure a lot of it's technique too. I could work on that a lot. I'm going to bring them down to shape now. I'm going to switch to the round tool. Did, did a pretty good job being the first time with a carbide tool. I did like them. I would recommend them. And for small turnings on a mini lathe or mid-sized lathe, they're not bad. I think they're, uh, they're well built and I'll see how they work over time. But I'm pleased. So I'll just go ahead and sand this up and put the finish on it. But uh, I think we can part ways here. Um, I do recommend the tool. So right here uh, on this slate will be info where uh, you can get them and their cost uh, at the time of this video. For a good set of carbide tools, I, I think it was, it was worth it. And with more practice, um, I will know exactly where and when these tools really shine. Um, that's a lack of skill on my part. But 
uh, they seem pretty nice. They cut nice. Uh, roughing out that blank was quite quick. Um, so, till next time, thanks for tuning in.